Hey everyone, welcome back to Droid Scripter. In today's tutorial, we're going to build a login screen in Jetpack Compose. This screen includes a smooth Lottie animation, text fields for email and password, and a login button with validation. Let's get started. First, let's define our login screen function. This function will handle everything related to our login UI. Here we starting by defining state variables for email, password, and password visible. Email error and password error are used to store validation messages. After that we start to make the login screen by use column to arrange UI elements vertically. Fill max size makes the column expand to fit the screen. Padding padding values ensures we respect the padding from scaffold. And horizontal alignment centers everything. Now we used text to display the login title. Spacer height equals 16 dp adds spacing below the title. Now we adding the email input field. Value equals email. Storing user input, this binds the text field to the email variable. When the user types, the value inside email is updated. On value change equals email equals it, handling input change. The label displays email or an error message if the field is empty. The label is dynamic. If emailer is empty, it shows email. If there is an error, for example, the user left it blank, it displays the error message.
Leading icon adds an account icon before the input field. And now a rounded user account icon appears inside the field. This makes the UI more intuitive. Shape gives the text field rounded corners. Fill max width makes the text field stretch across the screen. Horizontal padding 20 dp ensures it isn't too close to the edges. Customizing colors removes the default underline when the field is selected or not. This gives a modern, minimalistic look. After that, we adding the next input field for the password. Similar to the email field, we store user input in the password variable. The text field updates as the user types. Label displays password by default. If the user leaves the field empty, the error message appears. Letting icon adds a lock icon before the input field. This visually indicates that it is a password field. For handling password visibility, we use visual transformation. This hides the password with dots. In trailing icon, we adding a visibility toggle button. If password visible is true, we show an open eye icon. Password is visible. If password visible is false, we show a crossed out eye icon. Password is hidden. When the user taps the icon, password visible toggles between true and false.
similar to the email field, we now add the same style. Here we adding in clickable text named Forgot Password. Here in this clickable, we handle forgot password logic. Now we adding the login button. The login button checks if the email and password are empty. If either field is blank, it updates the error message. If both fields are valid, the app can proceed with authentication. And in the end, we adding the clickable text sign up option.
In order to display these to text fields horizontally, we wrap them in a row. As before, we will handle the sign logic here in the clickable function. To make our UI more engaging, we'll add an animation using Lottie. For the Lottie animation to work, we need to add this dependency first. and adding the desired animation into the project directory raw. We load the animation using Remember Lottie Composition. The animation is stored in race, raw login underscore animation JSON. Animate Lottie Composition as state ensures the animation plays continuously, iterate forever. The speed is set to 0.7 to slow down the animation slightly. Now we displaying the Lottie animation. Size 300 dp sets the animation size. Align Alignment Center horizontally centers the animatio. After that we add the composition and the composition state. And that's it. We've built a modern login screen using Jetpack Compose with animations and validation. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.